today we're going to get down to the basics. We're going to talk about the bare bones of cool season grass, and you may be surprised about what actually are the bare bones of when it comes to cool season grass. So let's jump into today's video. I went on a website called OpenAI Chat. It's a really cool website. You log in, it's free. You put in an, a question, it'll give you an answer. And we talked about this on the live stream podcast that I do every week with Travis from Budget Lawns. If you guys weren't aware of it, we do a live stream podcast every Tuesday night, nine o'clock Eastern Standard Time, eight central. Go check it out. We don't talk about just lawn care on that podcast. and We have a lot of fun. We talked about UFOs in the past. We talked about whales washing up on the beach. We talk about green energy. We talk about sports, everything. We're trying to bring the fun back into lawn care. So we're just not all about grass. We cover a little bit in the 15, first 15, 20 minutes of the show. But go check it out. It's a lot of fun. We have a lot of fun doing it. So go check that out. 9 o'clock Eastern Standard Time every Tuesday. So we talked about this open AI chat on the live stream. And it was specifically, obviously, to cool season grass, like your Kentucky bluegrasses, your fine fescue, your perennial rye, your turf-type tall fescues. That's what I have here. I have turf-type tall fescue in my lawn by Mountain View Seed. And it was really interesting, the five things that came back for your bare bones for lawn care for a cool season grass. And what do you know, number one that came back from this open AI chat was mowing. And believe it or not, guys, mowing is probably one of the most important things when it comes to having a nice lawn. If you can mow your lawn two times a week, you're really going to see a nice improvement in your lawn just by mowing alone. Now, I've talked about this on the live stream and my channel. My dad had a lawn business growing up, and the majority of these lawns were not fertilized. We did not offer fertilization with the lawn care. We just cut grass, edge, and blow. That was it. And a lot of these lawns look great just by keeping up with mowing. And as long as you're mowing correctly, and now everyone, you know, we all hear the one-third rule. You know, it's God forbid if you don't do the one-third rule. You know, it's the end of the day. But as long as you're not scalping the lawn, lawn, and what I mean by scalping the lawn is saying if you're taking a height of like a, this and you're taking it down to here, that's scalping. If you just take a little bit off, even if you take, you know, an inch to two inches, it's going to grow back. It's fine. Now, obviously, when you get into the summertime, you definitely don't want to scalp that lawn. You don't want to make it super short. You want to keep it obviously higher than normal. And then maybe that's when you back off from cutting maybe two times a week and you cut back to maybe only once a week. But mowing is the number one thing when it comes to the bare bones lawn care of a cool season grass. Number two is watering, guys. Watering is very important. Now, don't overwater your lawn like I do because you're going to get into some problems. Water just enough. And what I recommend people do is get one of these rain gauges. I got this at Home Depot. Stick it in the ground. And when check it every week. If you come up to an inch to two inches, then you don't have to water a lawn. Obviously, typical, you know, you want to get about an inch down every week. That's what the tip, that's what everyone says. If you watch any other YouTube video, they're going to tell you that. So if you get an inch on this rain gauge and, and say one week, then don't put any sprinklers on. Don't water your lawn. Just let Mother Nature take care of it. At the end of the day, we want Mother Nature to take care of our lawns as much as it can. So number two is obviously watering. Number three, guys, is fertilization. Now, what I have right here is Turf Titans Lawn Commander. It's a 2003 fertilizer. It's an all-liquid program by Turf Titan. It's part of their 360 program. Now, I'm going to be using them all year this year. They sent me out their product to try out. Now, I've seen other people have really good results, so I'm really curious to see how well this does in my lawn. Now, if you have if you have no idea where to start, I recommend everybody start out with a granular fertilizer. Now, I had really good res results last year from a mostly granular program. And I did use some liquid as well. But if you have no idea, go to your big box store. Go get a Scott's Turf Builder. Go get a Stag Green. Get anything like that. You're going to have a high nitrogen analysis in those bags. And you can spread it out in your lawn with your spreader. And as long as you follow that bag rate on the back of those bags, you'll have a good results from them because again, they are mostly nitrogen. And that's what I recommend to people. If you don't want to get into the nitty gritty or the science of lawn care and things like that, and you don't want to do a soil test, go just do a strict nitrogen only, no phosphorus in your fertilizer, and you should have really good results. 
Number four is we control. Now, if you got down a pre-emergent earlier in the season and it didn't take care of some of the things that you wanted, you can go the post-emergent route. And now that's what this is right here. This is a triad TZ. Now this is a concentrate that you can mix up in a tank sprayer and spray out in your lawn. This is a four-way herbicide. So this is gonna take care of most of the weeds in your lawn. But if you don't wanna go something like this route, you can go to the big box stores, you can go down the aisle and look for something that you want, that you, you're seeing in your lawn that you wanna treat. And you can hook it up to your, they have hose end options where you can hook it up to your hose, spray it out in your lawn, let it dry. And it should take care of most of the weeds that you're going to see in your lawn. Now, obviously not, not everyone wants to treat every weed in their lawn. They have a few here and there. Maybe they want to pick them themselves. Then that's fine. But again, guys, this is just the bare bones of obviously cool season lawn care. Number five is aeration. Obviously this is a manual aeration device. Now, obviously, you can go out and rent an aerator if you want from, say, a rental place, a Home Depot, something like that. But it is a lot of work, guys. Aeration is, it's a, it's a back-breaking work, believe it or not. Even though it's a machine, it really, <laughs> it's a workout. Now, obviously, most of us are going to do an aeration maybe in the fall time as opposed to the spring time. But maybe you didn't get to it to the fall time. Go ahead. Do it in the spring time. It's not going to hurt anything. It's really going to open up the you're going to obviously aeration you're going to poke holes in the ground it's going to help put oxygen it's going to help let the the ground breathe again and obviously it, it's number five on the list and if, if you want to do it that's great maybe you can get someone to do it for you uh obviously it's going to cost you maybe a little bit more money to have someone come out to your house but aeration is good if you want to do it every year great you don't have to do it every year i did it last year and i'm probably not going to do it this year just because of the <laughs> Like I said, it's a lot of work, guys. And believe me, if you've ever done it yourself, you know what I'm talking about. There you have it, the steps for bare bones, lawn care of a cool season lawn, brought to you by OpenAI Chag. Go check it out. It's really cool. You could, Like I said, you type in pretty much whatever you want. It's going to give you a pretty cool answer back. And believe it or not, guys, this is what I do in my lawn. I try and stick to just mostly this right here. And I've had pretty good results over the last two years since getting on the YouTube and filming different content and things like that. And I'm going to stick to that. And believe it or not, stick to that number one there, that mowing. You, you, if you increase your mowing at least up to two times a week during the spring and in the fall months, you're going to see a big improvement in your lawn just right there alone. So if you have any questions or concerns on today's video, please comment down below. I'll get back to you. And, and, and again, guys, go check out that live stream every Tuesday on the Budget Lawns channel. I'm going to leave that link down below. Every Tuesday, 9 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, 8 Central. Thank you, guys. If you found today's video helpful, make sure you smash that like button. It really does help out with the channel. And like always, guys, if you're interested in any of my other content, I'm available on Instagram. I'm available on TikTok. Go check me out there. And like always, I'll see you in the next one.